Choose. McDonald's. Huh? McDonald's, huh? Anyone? McDonald's. Fuck them. McDonald's quiet on the Ukraine war. Hasn't, or rather, has more exposed to Russia, more exposure to Russia than any other U.S. fast food chain. Can I get uh, a big old fuck McDonald's? Can we get, can we get that in there? Okay. Look at these motherfuckers. Fuck McDonald's. Not only is McDonald's poison, it destroys communities. It runs local businesses out of business. Uh, it's poison, right? First and foremost, it provides shit working conditions, shit wages, shit food, and it's bad for you. Fuck McDonald's and they're a corporation. They fuck up the environment with their goddamn fucking goddamn meat consumption. Fuck McDonald's. It's unhealthy poison. U.S. fast food chains have limited exposure to Russia and Ukraine, but McDonald's is under the most pressure, according to a new report from the Bank of America Securities. McDonald's, which owns a large majority of its restaurants in Russia, a large majority of its restaurants in, Mush in Russia, a large majority, is that over 50%? I don't, how is that possible? So I, I don't think that that is proper wording which owns a large amount of its restaurants in Russia, has been quiet about the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The company declined to comment to CNBC on Monday. They're sitting on the fence. Other restaurant companies have avoided greater exposure uh, to Russia and Ukraine because most or all of their locations in the countries are operated by franchisees. Well, those restaurants generate less revenue for the franchiser. It also means uh, that a significant economic downturn in either country is less likely to dent the company's overall results, rather rather than face market uh, rather than face consumer or government backlash from either side of the conflict. Both franchiser and franchised restaurants can point to their local ownership, even if the chain is based in the U.S. First of all, can we talk about how silly it is that we're looking at McDonald's? McDonald's. Sir, how do you feel about the Russian invasion of Ukraine? Like, what? <laughs> you know, like, that's, that's already very bizarre. But also, fuck McDonald's. So, fuck them. Since opening its first location in the Soviet Union 32 years ago, I wonder what happened around 32 years ago. <laughs> like, does anyone know what happened? Huh. The Soviet Union 32 years ago. Hmm. Hey, I'm just wondering, what happened to the Soviet Union 32 years ago? McDonald's. Then, six months later, right? Whoops. Uh, McDonald's has grown its footprint in Russia and Ukraine to more than 900 locations. Those restaurants account for 2% of its system-wide sa uh, system sales, roughly 9% of its revenue, and 3% of its operating income. So in other words, uh, it's nothing. It, it does nothing. Okay. The Chicago-based company has shrunk its ownership from 100% to roughly 84% of restaurants in Russia since the Kremlin invaded Crimea. Okay. In 2014, after Russia was hit with sanctions in response to its Crimea invasion, there was a perceived negative reaction to the country level uh, at the country level against American companies, including McDonald's, whose Moscow restaurants it closed for sanitary violations. Now that, I believe, <laughs> that I believe, I'm just saying, I don't believe... Uh, bank, you know, I don't believe much of what the Kremlin says. That, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that they're probably not, not too far off. Bank of America Securities Analyst Sarah Senator wrote in a new uh, note to clients on Monday, franchisee operates, uh, the franchisees operate the rest of McDonald's Russian footprint. So basically, he's, he's, this is the leave it up to the states version, but like with corporations, they're leaving it to the states. Um, so let's see what some other stores and brands are talking about starbucks on the other hand generates only about five percent of its system-wide sales from europe according to senator the coffee giant hasn't paused operations in russia where all of its cafes are run by franchisees ceo kevin johnson condemned the russian attack on ukraine and vowed to donate royalties from its russian business to the humanitarian uh causes in ukraine okay so that's good yum brands which owns taco bell kfc and pizza hut taco bell is the only fast food i eat though i haven't had it in, in a while has more than 1,000 restaurants in russia that account for roughly 2% uh, roughly of its system-wide sales. However, the vast majority of those locations are franchised. So the revenue that Yum receives through licensing fees is much smaller. And, uh, okay, and they said, Like so many across the world, we are shocked and saddened by the tragic events unfolding in Ukraine, and we're focused on the safety of our employees, franchisees, and partners in the region. Yum said, that's not that good of a statement. We're focused on the safety of our employees, franchisees, and partners. Who are the partners? That seems like a both sides kind of thing. The company added that it is too early to discuss the impact, 
but it is monitoring the situation very closely. I'm glad that they're sitting back and assessing. It's a foundation is uh, donating one million to the Red Cross and Matt. Okay, so that's good. Domino's Pizza and Burger King owner. All right, so there he goes. There's some more info. Uh, but anyway, fuck McDonald's. Anything that fucks with them in the press, I'm down to signal boost. Fuck them. Also, what happened in the Soviet Union 32 years ago? I'm just, I'm just very. Can someone like look up? Like, Soviet Union, 1990s? Because, to me, last time I heard, last time I checked, McDonald's going to the Soviet Union, very ill-timed. I mean, or, or good time, well-timed, depending on, on your perspective. Um, but there you go.